Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. I say shalom to you, I came out there, and this uh, news article in the news uploaded, and this is from the uh, Israeli, I mean Israel National News, and this was uh, posted September 27, 2021, at 8:40 a.m. and U.S. Sources. This is the title of the headline, and I'm gonna read it again. It said, "U.S. sources soon will have to take action against Iran. Uh, Tehran may be intentionally taking its time." Returning to negotiations, sources say, and it reads on with the article. Uh, U.S. sources have said in talks with their Israeli counterparts that the country is nearly the point at which it will be required to take steps to take act against Iran. Khan News reports and it says uh, U.S. sources have also expressed concern that Tehran is intentionally dragging out the return to uh, the talks of the resumption of the nuclear deal in order to retrench itself even more in the nuclear arena and to enrich uranium. This issue came up in several discussions that the senior U.S. official held with Prime Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. It says Defense Minister Ben Gantz, Blue and White, and Foreign Minister Yari Lapid and Yis Ati on Friday, uh, Iran's new foreign minister Hassan Amar Abdel Hali uh, said the country will return to the nuclear regard negotiations very soon. The Associated Press uh, reporter, and then on Thursday, which was last week. Uh, a senior U.S. official said that the window is still open to revive the 2015 nuclear deal, but it won't be forever. And it says, we are still interested. We still want to come back in the table. Uh, the senior State Department official said in a telephone briefing as quoted by Reuters. The window of opportunity is open. It won't open forever if Iran takes different course. So I'll get out that body part down there. But yeah, as I was uh, you know, reading through the article and everything, so yeah, it kinda seemed like the United States they kinda impatient, very impatient with uh, Iran's direction with the nuclear deal. You know, they kinda feel like they uh United States kind of feel like Iran is dragging back and is taking his own time with the, you know, nuclear deal and everything like that. So, you know, and then you got the uh, United States counterpart, which is, uh, you know, Israel. Because, you know, the United States and Israel, you know, they, uh, you know, they allies. Both countries are allies, you know. And, you know, like I mentioned before, like a week or two ago, you know, you know, the... Uh, this grudge, uh, be, you know, the Israeli government and the military, the IDF, you know, uh, they still got that grudge towards Iran, you know. So, even though, you know, the United States, they trying to still, they still trying to, you know, come to a uh, negotiations talk with Iran, you know, but, you know, Israel is still going to tell United States, hey, you know, we shouldn't have any negotiations with Iran because, you know, because, uh, you know, Iran believes, you know, they can't trust 
I mean, I meant to say, you know, Israel can't trust Iran like that because, you know, they still got that, 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 that grudge and beef between each other, you know. So, you know, hey, it's, it's going to be very difficult for them to, for the United States and Iran to come into an agreement because, you know, uh, Iran, they haven't forgot to what happened to their they two, two main leaders, you know, their top scientists and their top uh, general, you know. Yeah.